What's up, great people? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Onika here again on another reaction video. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please do make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Turn on notifications so you can get my videos first. I appreciate it if you do so. And to my returning subscribers, yeah, peace, peace. Allah God bless you guys, man. You guys are great. All right, um, today's video I'll be reacting to the Lost Praise and Evidence Against Trinity. It was recommended by one of you using my Instagram handle. Yes, guys, please do make sure to use my Instagram handle to drop your recommendation of any video you want me to react on. And I react on you guys. Just you guys, you just gotta chill. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but you guys are pending requests that I haven't uh, done yet. All right, um, do give a like on this video, share this video to your friends and family. Use the comment section to drop your opinions and suggestions. Let's get into this video, guys. Come on. Yes, uh, and we go in now. I was born a Christian, and as a matter of fact, I compete with all Christians in my love and attachment to Jesus Christ and his message. I believe I know more about Jesus Christ and his life and his mother and his grandfather and his legacy than most Christians. As a matter of fact, most Christians really should call themselves Christologists. Because it's the study. It is what people say about Jesus Christ, not who Jesus Christ was or how he actually lived. For he himself never told anyone to call themselves Christians. But I was born a Christian, we can say that. That nomenclature was put upon me. And as a Christian, I asked about this issue of Jesus Christ being the, the Son of God. I wanted to understand that. I wanted to understand how could Jesus be God's Son and also be God. And also be a divine person among three persons that's part of the one God. Now see if you can mathematically fig uh, figure that out. The Trinity says God in three persons, whether you're following the, the Nicene Creed or the Athanasian Creed or the Apostles' Creed, they all say God in three persons, person, person, person. Now, how do you get one, two, three, one? How do you get one God out of person, person, person? And they make it clear that each one is a person and a divine personality, yet they all are one God. A mystery that has never been solved in 2,000 years. No Christian, no minister, no cardinal, no priest, not even the Pope or any of the church fathers can tell you today how that is. So they've all decided to use a word to sum it all up. It's a mystery, my son. <laughs> well, that's a mystery I think that a hundred Sherlock Holmes will never be able to figure out. I think you need a little bit more than forensic science to figure that mystery out. But Jesus Christ himself, he answered what he meant by son. Because you and I both know that when Jesus Christ was asked, O oh, Rabbi, teach us how to pray. Jesus Christ gave the Christians or his disciples, the Nazarenes, he gave them a prayer that all of you know to be the Lord's Prayer. How many people are Christians here? Don't be shy, let me see. Good, there's enough. Let's walk through, let's walk through, let's talk through the Lord's Prayer. I mean, it's a good prayer. He said, I will teach you how to pray. He said, our Father who art in heaven. He didn't say my Father. He didn't say, my father, if he was the exclusive son of Almighty God, then he would have said, my father who art in heaven. What did he say, Christians? 
our Father. Our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Not my name. Not our name. But thy name. He's speaking in the second person. The second person exclusive. Thy kingdom come. Whose kingdom come? My kingdom come? If Jesus is God and he's part of the Godhead, he's one of the three, then he owns part of that too. He should say, our kingdom come. Thy will be done. I'm not being facetious here. I'm quoting a prayer. A prayer that I also feel passionately about. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Who's eating bread? Us. Us. That means Jesus Christ and his mother is both eating bread, isn't it? And if you, if you eat bread, you're going to drink some water or some juice or something. And if you're drinking, eating bread and drinking juice, the body only uses part of it. The rest of it, the body, casts out. Now, can you imagine Almighty God eating bread and drinking juice, defecating and urinating? Now, use your mind, Christians. We're not talking mathematics here. We're not talking high science here. We're not embarrassing anybody here. We're not casting aspersions on anybody here. We're not criticizing or condemning anybody here. We're making sense. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. Who's trespassing? Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. Lead us not into, lead us not into temptation. God being tempted. But deliver us from evil. God asking himself to be delivered. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Is that the Lord's prayer? Is that the Lord's prayer? Yes. Jesus made the Lord's prayer and he taught the disciples the Lord's prayer. So that Lord was for him and everyone else. That Lord's prayer that I just read sounds something like what I read from the Quran initially. It almost sounds something like the Fatiha that we recite 27 times a day. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, all praises to Almighty God, Lord of the worlds. Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, the compassionate and the merciful. Maliki Yawm al Deen, master of the day of judgment. Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'een, to you do we worship, thine aid do we seek. Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqeen, guide us on the straight path. Sirat al Ladina and Amta alayhim. Those, the path of those who receive your ni'mah, your favors. Ghayr al Mavdubi alayhim wa al And not those who receive your wrath or those who go astray. That's what we say in the Quran, similar to what Jesus said according to the scripture. No contradiction there at all. Hello, guys. Yes, we are done with this video. And uh, I have something to say. Um, clearly, the Lord's Prayer is an evidence to show that the Trinity, uh, the Bible does not, uh, as in there is nothing like Trinity, I don't even, I can't even understand that concept like Trinity, God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, all in one. Like what? It doesn't even make sense. Like, I don't, God is God. God is God. Jesus is Jesus. The Holy Spirit is Holy Spirit. They are not combined together, the three heads or whatever the Catholics are teaching. It doesn't just, it doesn't, I don't even buy that kind of idea. It doesn't make sense. Like, whoa. 
the Trinity, God the Father, they are all equal, they, have, they share the same power. It doesn't just align at all, come on. I don't even know why people believe in such uh, stuff. Jesus himself clearly stated that the Father is greater than I am. It's simple, what is there to argue again? Like, how is how are they now three? Ah! Alright, that's it in this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you. I really enjoyed this video. It was uh, by Khalid Yassin. He's a, he's, well, he's a renowned speaker. I, I enjoy his uh, talk. He talks, he, uh, he describes things, as in he explains things uh, in a very, very clear, understanding way. Yeah, Khalid Yassin, Yusuf Estes, uh, Ahmed Didat, uh, Mohammed Hoblos, Noah Hassan. There are many of them, yeah. The people I can just mention the lists. That I like. All right, thank you for watching. If you're new, please do make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. All right, and uh, to my returning subscribers, I keep hearing you guys. You guys are great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Without you guys, you know now I wouldn't have gotten this far. All right, use the comment section to drop your opinion, give a like, and video. share this video to your friends and family, and use my Instagram handle to drop your recommendation of any video you want me to react on. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Peace out.